Hi friends, welcome to my channel Cocktail Furious. So India vs Bangladesh first test at Chittagong day one review. So I will say it is a 50-50 for Team India and Bangladesh because see 278 for 6 on a pitch you know it is like two pace to pitch. I feel that India have done reasonably well after 48 for 3. They were in a very difficult situation at that time and after that they had a very good partnership with uh, Shreya Zahir and Chetreshwar Pujara. So that partnership seriously you know, saved India to be very honest. And uh, we have to give credit to Bangladesh also because I thought I just feel that day one is the best time for batting to be very honest. I think this pitch is going to be very slow and low. Obviously it will have some turn also. So batsmen need to apply their skills a lot. That is what you know, I am able to predict in this particular Chittagong pitch. So obviously India have done reasonably well. It could have been India's day if, if we would have not lost Aksar Patel's wicket. But since we lost that wicket, I feel like it is a 50-50 I have to give to Bangladesh also because on day one, they really bowled well and especially Taijul Islam. See, he has been bowling well for almost past uh, five to six years for Bangladesh. Okay, He's the key bowler like we generally used to have you know, in every team. Like for us, Ashwin is a, is a continuous performer the same way. Uh, Taijul Islam is also a continuous performer for Bangladesh over the period of years and he has shown his experience today and the wicket he took you know especially Virat's wicket uh, that was uh, classic of spin he just you know changed his line he went wide of the crease and used the crease really well and you know literally baffled Virat Kohli in that uh, particular delivery. So, uh, we have to give huge credit to Taijul Islam. So, once KL Rahul won the toss and choose to bat you know they started really well. To be very honest, Gill and KL Rahul started really well and then Gill lost his wicket. I mean, he tried to play across the line which was not that much necessary at the time. Still, he, he thought to attack the spinners and he got out and uh, immediately, you know, there was a flurry of wickets. Uh, KL Rahul got out soft, another soft dismissal to be very honest and Virat wicket was uh, excellent delivery from Taijul. So, all of a sudden India became 48 for 3, you know, I was wondering like, oh my god, what are we going to do? Because it's Bangladesh all over. But uh, that partnership between Ayer and Pujara was a classic example how to play a test match in a difficult wicket. So it was almost a 149 run partnership and uh, huge credit to Shreya Zayar and Pujara. So at the last session, you know, fag end of the last hour, uh, unfortunately Pujara lost his wicket and uh, even that delivery was a classic off spinner delivery from Taijal Islam. So you can't do anything about that because Pujara was absolutely playing his best innings because this is the way he plays he's not going to attack but he will pace his innings on his own way and uh, he took a lot of balls it was a typical test match and typical pujara's innings he was on the way to get his 100 but unfortunately he got it with a very good delivery of taijul and uh, you know that broke the partnership and aut automatically bangladesh came into the match uh, so they took aksar patel's wicket also so obviously it opened the match and uh, to be very honest, it has become 50-50. And when it comes to Shreya Sayer, I think he showed a lot of maturity in this innings because it is a test match. You see, he's a kind of an aggressive player and he was aggressive in certain times. But at the same time, he took some time and he played a lot of balls. That is how you have to play, especially in the day one. Okay, There's no need to rush uh, for runs. You have to take some time, especially after losing three wickets early. So seriously, Shreya Sayer played really well. And uh, obviously, both Shreyas and Pujara were so lucky because there are almost three drop chances from Bangladesh. Obviously, they will rue for it because in the international level, you have to take those chances, especially that Shreya Zayas catch, you know, uh, in the deep mid wicket. Uh, seriously, Mehdi Hassan would have been disappointed uh, to some extent. That was an easy catch, and Bangladesh should definitely ponder about their fielding efforts, or else India would have been all out by this time. So, they missed a great chance. So, day two, how it's going to go? So. I think Shreya Zayar is key for India because we have only one, you know, uh, proper batsman that is Ashwin and after that we have three Thailanders and it's, it will be a matter of time, you know, for Bangladesh to close the innings. So this partnership is very key. At least we have to get minimum of 350. So that is a very good score in this pitch. So India will most probably like to get 350 at least in this pitch and it depends totally on Shreya Zayar and Ashwin, at least major factor we have to depend upon Shreya Sayer's innings. Hopefully, he will get a century as well as he will get a decent 130 or 140. So, India needs that uh, obviously to get to reach the 350. So, that's it, guys. See you on the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.